Zenata, the free and open source web-based translation management system, provides a couple of clients for communication with it. One is a Python client. I'm going to show you how to configure your machine to communicate with the free hosted instance of Zenata at translate.zenata.org using the Python client. So I'm running Fedora 16 here. ETC Fedora release, Fedora 16, and in Fedora 16 we have the Zenata uh, Python client, perhaps, package, yes. I have it already installed. Now if you don't have that installed and you're running either F15 or F16, then to install it you need to run as root, so either changing to root, or if you have sudo set up, you can use sudo yum install. Zenata Python client. It's going to install all of the uh, dependencies. It's going to install the Zenata Python client on your machine, ready for you to communicate with a Zenata instance. So we're going to configure this machine here to communicate with the Zenata instance. So I sign into Zenata using my FAS account, which I have validated with translate.zenata.org. Okay, my password, login. Yes, approve the OpenID request. I'm now signed into Zenata. So I can go here to my profile. I need to do two things. First of all, I need to generate an API key. You can see that I already have a, an API key here, which you can rest assured I will be regenerating after I finish recording the screencast. So why not now? roll the dice, regenerate the API key. So I click here and I get an API key. The first time you do this, you won't have an API key. It's also provided me here, if you can see, with the details that I need to plug into a configuration file for the server. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this block here, copy, and I need to put this information into this file here. So it's in my home directory in a hidden directory called config and it's called zenata.ini. This is the Zenata Python client configuration file. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to paste that information in here. It's the translatezenata.org URL, my FAS username, and my secret API key, which it uses for communication. Save that file and exit from there. So my Python client is now configured to speak to the server. I wonder if there's a command that I can use to test if it's working. Let's try Zenata list. Please specify the okay uh, URL. Mm, that's not going to work. Project version info. Yeah, I need to give it a full URL. Let's try this. See what happens translate.zenata.org No projects on the server. Let's try with that. There we go. So, I can now communicate with that server. And I think if we have a look at the command that I just ran, I just ran it against translate.zenata.org slash zenata. And if we have a look at my config file, you can see here that that's actually the URL that I had put in here. So what it does is it matches the URL that you're speaking to, finds a match here in the file, and then it will pull the username and the API key and use that to communicate with that server. So here we're able to communicate with that server and I'm able to pull down a list of the projects here. Now that my machine is configured to talk to the Zenata server at translate.zenata.org, I'm able to push my project, my project files, to the Zenata server. And that's the subject of another uh, video podcast. So, translate.zenata.org, the free hosted instance of Zenata, the open source web-based translation management system, project homepage, zenata.org.